Introduction Mom, did you know that the municipal corporation spends crore rupees on keeping our locality clean? <laughs> yes, I know. Can you work out the corporation's annual maintenance expenditure, Ashish? It is a long calculation, Mom. No, Ashish. It is a very simple calculation if you know the multiplication rules well. In this lesson, you will learn to perform basic operations on large numbers. Operations on large numbers. There are four basic operations that we can perform on large numbers. They are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Let us look at them one by one in detail. Addition. In an addition operation, the numbers that are added are called addends. And the result is called the sum. Before we begin, let us understand some rules of addition. The sum of a number and zero is the number itself. Zero is known as the additive identity. 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 9 plus zero is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 9. The sum of a number and 1 is the successor of the number. 67421908 plus 1 is equal to 67421909. The sum is not affected by the order of the addends. 2345629 plus 12098045 is equal to 1209804529052345629 plus 2345629. Let us now learn to add large numbers. We begin with the addition of three large numbers 32456789, and 34567892. Draw the Indian place value chart. Arrange the numbers one below the other. Add the numbers. Start with the digits at the ones place. Then proceed to tens place, hundreds place and so on. The sum is 8579003030. Let us now look at a word problem of addition. 3498765 people visited a crafts exhibition on the first day. On the second and third days, the number of visitors increased to 4567-8923 and 5632-4879. How many people visited the exhibition in all? Visitors on the first day is equal to 34987652. Visitors on the second day is equal to 4567-8923. Visitors on the third day is equal to 5632 -4879. Total visitors in three days is equal to 13699-1454. 13 crore 69 lakh 91,454 people visited the exhibition on all the three days put together. At times, we do not want the exact sum of numbers. We want an approximate value. In such cases, we estimate the sum by rounding off the numbers. Let us estimate the sum of 49826754340912882 and 4567912323 to the nearest thousands. 
rounded off to the nearest thousands is 49827000340912888 rounded off to the nearest thousands is 3409100 4567912 rounded off to the nearest thousands is 4567900 now add 49827000340910000 and 4567900 the sum is 1295 Nine seven zero zero zero. Subtraction. In a subtraction operation, the larger number is called the minuend. The smaller number is called the subtrahend, and the result is called the difference. Before we proceed, let us look at the rules of subtraction. Zero subtracted from a number gives the number itself as the difference. Three zero six seven two three one four nine subtracted by zero is equal to three zero six seven two three one four nine. One subtracted from a number gives the predecessor of the number. Seven four six two three one nine five four subtracted by one is equal to seven four six two three one nine five three. The order of the numbers in the subtraction operation affects the difference. Two three four five six two nine zero minus one two zero nine eight zero four five not equal to one two zero nine eight zero four five minus two three four five six two nine zero. Let us now perform subtraction on large numbers. Subtract nine eight seven six three two five four from four three two nine eight seven one two three. Draw the Indian place value chart. Four three two nine eight seven one two three is the minuend as it is the larger number. Nine eight seven six three two five four is the subtrahend as it is the smaller number. Write the minuend. Write the subtrahend below it. Subtract the numbers. Start with the digits at the ones place. Then proceed to tens place, hundreds place, and so on. The difference is three three four two two three eight six nine. Let us attempt a word problem involving subtraction. Vijay has to repay a loan of rupees. One nine eight two seven three four five six to the bank. So far, he has repaid rupees four five three two one eight seven nine. What is the balance he has to repay? Total amount to be repaid is equal to rupees one nine eight two seven three four five six. Amount already repaid is equal to. Rupees four five three two one eight seven nine. Balance amount to be repaid is equal to rupees one five two nine five one five seven seven. Vijay has to repay a balance loan amount of rupees one five two nine five one five seven seven. Let us now compose a word problem for a given solution. Look at this solution. Votes received by a candidate in an election is equal to four three nine zero eight zero seven two. Votes received by the other candidate is equal to one two eight nine seven six five four. Difference between the votes is equal to three one zero one zero four. One eight. It is clear from the solution that there are two candidates in the election. One of them receives four three nine zero eight 
0.072 volts. The other receives 1.2897654 volts. The difference in the votes of the two candidates has been calculated. This must be the requirement of the question. Therefore, the word problem is, there are two candidates in an election. One of them receives 4390-8072 votes, while the other receives 1289-7654 votes. Find the difference in their votes. Multiplication In a multiplication operation, the number that is multiplied is known as the multiplicand. The number with which it is multiplied is known as the multiplier and the result is known as the product. Let us look at some rules of multiplication. A number multiplied by 1 is the number itself. 9876 multiplied by 1 is equal to 9876. A number multiplied by 0 is 0. 5679 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. A 0 is added to a number on the right when it is multiplied by 10. 4358 multiplied by 10 is equal to 43580. Two zeros are added to a number on the right when it is multiplied by 100. 1265 multiplied by 100 is equal to 126500. Zero, zero. Let us multiply 123 by 456 using the lattice multiplication technique. Draw a table with three rows and three columns. On the top, write 1, 2 and 3 horizontally from left to right. On the right, write 4, 5 and 6 from top to bottom. Divide each cell of the table into 2 with the help of a diagonal. Multiply 1 by 4. Write the result as 0, 4 in the first cell. Multiply 2 and 4 and write the result as 0, 8 in the second cell and so on. Now add up the diagonal elements from the bottom. The bottommost diagonal has only one element. Write 8 beneath the table under the last column. The diagonal above it has three elements, 5, 1 and 2. Their sum is 8. Write 8 where the diagonal ends. The third diagonal has five elements, 2, 1, 0, 1 and 6. Their sum is 10. Write 0 and carry over 1 to the next diagonal. It has 5 elements. 1, 8, 1, 5 and 0. Their sum is 16, including the carry over 1. Write 6 and carry over 1 to the next diagonal. It has 3 elements. 0, 4 and 0. Their sum is 5, including the carry over 1. Write 5. The last diagonal has only one element, 0. Write 0. Read the digits from top to bottom, 056088. Therefore, the product of 123 and 456 is 56088. Let us now look at a word problem of multiplication. A school takes 154 students of class 5th to watch a Harry Potter movie. It collects rupees 325 from each student. Find the total amount collected by the school. Total number of students is equal to 154. Amount collected from each student is equal to rupees 325. Total amount collected by the school is equal to 325 multiplied by 154. 
First we multiply 325 by 4. Then we multiply 325 by 50. Finally we multiply 325 by 100. We add the three products to get 50050. 0, 0, 5, 0. Therefore, the school collected an amount of rupees 50050 0, 0, 0 from its students. Now let us estimate the product of two numbers. Find the product of 959 and 512 by rounding off the numbers to the nearest hundreds. 959 rounded off to the nearest hundreds is 1000. 512 rounded off to the nearest hundreds is 500. 1000 into 500 is equal to 5 lakh. Therefore, the estimated product of 959 and 512 is 500000. Division In a division operation, the number that is divided is known as the dividend. The number with which it is divided is known as the divisor. The result is known as the quotient and the number that is left over when the divisor does not divide the dividend exactly as known as remainder. Let us look at some rules of division. A number divided by 1 is the number itself. 3, 4, 6, 7, 1, 2, 4, 5 divided by 1 is equal to 3, 4, 6, 7, 1, 2, 4, 5. A number divided by itself is 1. 5, 6, 0, 9, 8, 7, 1, 2 divided by 1 is equal to 5, 6, 0, 9, 8, 7, 1, 2. Division by 0 is not defined. 5, 6, 7, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2 divided by 0 is equal to not defined. A 0 is removed from the right of a number when it is divided by 10. 9876 540 divided by 10 is equal to 9876 54. Two zeros are removed from the right of a number when it is divided by 100. 4123 6500 0, 0, divided by 100 is equal to 412365. Let us now learn to divide 230625 by 275. Write the two numbers down as shown. Take the first three digits of 230625 together. That is 230. 230 is too small to hold 275. Now consider the first four digits together. 2306. 2306 is big enough to hold 8 times 275. That is 2200. Therefore, write 8 on the right and 2200 beneath 2306. Subtract and write the difference 106 below. Bring 2 down. The new number formed is 1062. It holds 3 times 275 that is 825. Subtract and write the difference 237 below. Bring 5 down. The new number formed is 2375. It holds 6 times 275 that is 1650. Subtract and write the difference 725 below. As there are no more digits in the dividend, we come to the end of division operation. Thus, the quotient is 836 and the remainder is 725. Let us now verify the division with the help of this formula. Dividend is equal to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. That is equal to 275 multiplied by 836 plus 725. That is equal to 229900 plus 725. That is equal to 230625. That is equal to 
dividend. Therefore, the division stands verified. A library is being shifted to another location. It has a collection of 8745012 books. 3462 books are packed into a carton. How many cartons will be required to pack all the books? Total number of books in library is equal to 8745012. 3462 books is equal to one carton. 8745012 books is equal to 8745012 divided by 3462 cartons. Therefore, 2526 cartons will be required to pack all the books of the library. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. In an addition operation, the numbers added are called add-ins. In subtraction operation, the larger and smaller numbers are called minuant and subtrahend. In a multiplication operation, the number multiplied and the number with which it is multiplied are called multiplicand and multiplier. In a division operation, the number divided and the number with which it is divided are called dividend and divisor. The result of addition is called sum. The result of subtraction is called difference. The result of multiplication is called product. The result of division is called quotient. Zero is called the additive identity. One is called the multiplicative identity.